So, in this video, we're gonna perform similar crude operations in the graph. We're gonna create, read, update, and delete. What we need to know. First of all, all you need to know is GraphQL plus minus. It was inspired by GraphQL language and is the query language we use in the graph. In the graph, just like in GraphQL, writing and reading are two distinct processes, as it is mutation and query. There are two types of mutation, RDF and JSON. In this video, we, we use JSON mutation. For the create operation, we're going to do two mutations. The first mutation will create the city called Big Timber. And the second mutation will create a document from Michael Keaton's data. So this, this mutation here will create three nodes. The first node I call a user node. We'll have a name, birth, an Azure contact, an Azure addresses. The first contact will create a simple node and the last one will create just one an address pointing to uh, pointing to the first rotation we created. So we're gonna read, we're gonna update the phone and we're gonna delete values, delete address and delete the whole node. So let's first create the city timber. So I have here a uh, radio instance running. So I will create the city timber. We're gonna run it. Okay, done. So I have to find the city. Okay, uh, funk s city uid city name. Let's run it. Okay, I forgot the brackets. Okay, we have we have the city uid here. So we can copy and for the other mutation, micro kittens data, we're gonna paste it. Okay, here, city 0x16. So we're gonna run it. So we have an error. This error says that the attribute name should have lang directive in schema. Okay, we're gonna go to schema. We're gonna change this name. Um, let's put index also and lang because we're gonna need an index, so we have to put this. We update, okay, and we go back. Let's finish this. Now, let me see. So we created both. So let's find Michael Keaton. Let's find Michael Keaton. This query. Data. Ek in English. Michael Keaton. And show he's done in this format. So here, here is the data. Michael Keaton, his phone, his email, address, city, etc. So now we're gonna we read it, we're gonna update his phone. So I think his phone is wrong, so we're gonna change it. So his phone, I have to um, know the ID from his phone. So I'm gonna isolate this, I'm gonna get the UID. Okay, his phone is inside this node. Um, so we're gonna mutate so his phone is 555 we're gonna put 
and run it. Done. So when we search again for Michael Keaton's phone, we're gonna have it changed. So we did update. Now we're gonna delete a value. So we're gonna delete the phone itself. As we know that the phone is 0x1c, we're gonna use the, we're gonna perform delete as new. And we search again for his contact and it will be only the email there. Okay. So we're gonna now delete an edge. So I choose to delete uh, to delete an address. So this will delete only the relation between the, the parent node and the child node. Both nodes will still exist. So we need to know. Um, so I'm gonna take out this. We're gonna isolate address. Um, I don't need this. UID from the child and the UID from the parent. I need to know both. So I have this is the, the parent and his is this is the child. So we're gonna use like this. This is the parent and copy the child. So we're gonna delete his this relation. So run it done and we if we search again, we'll be empty. But if we search for the whole Michael Keaton's data, we're gonna see that only exists the contact. There is no address because we delete the relation. But if we we'll, if we search for um, a node that content that is we if we search for that node, we're gonna see that, that the node still exists there. And will be address and city. As you can see, the node is still there. So um, let's delete. Let's delete all nodes that we find. So um, I'm gonna put Michael Keaton's node here. So we're gonna we're gonna find all the nodes related to Michael Keaton. So there is no address. I'm gonna claim this a bit. I need my cooking to my cooking's UAD and contact UAD. So um let me find the delete. So now we have the address to delete. I need also delete the city. Um, Michael Keaton's itself, itself, and the contact. So I grab all the IDs, X, X1, B, 16, E, X1, C, okay. So we're gonna delete all of them, done. So we, if we query again for this, all will be empty.
so your query did not return any results. So we perform all operations, all crude operations in the graph.